Welcome to all of you. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about realization of 74192 up counter as well as down counter using the multi -sim. Let us first go through some of the details of 74192. A detailed video regarding the 74192 and its up counter as well as the down counter is presented as a separate video. The details will be provided in the description box. You can just go through that link and you can have complete details of that design. So for the sake of understanding, so here I will be providing the details in a minimalistic manner. So this is the 74192 uh, pin diagram. It consists of total 16 pins. So here you can observe, so four data pins, they are input, four output pins, these are outputs and two clock input, one for up counting and one for down counting, a ground pin and a VCC pin, and then a parallel load pin which is active, low and asynchronous in nature, then MR, the master reset, so it is active high and asynchronous in nature, and these two, TCU and TCD are terminal, up, uh, terminal count up and terminal count down respectively, again both of these two are active low. These two pins are used when more than one 74192 IC is used. That means in a cascaded manner. Otherwise, these two have no roles to play. Let us understand some of the basic features of 74192. It's a 16 pin IC and it's a 4-bit counter. 4-bit counter, it doesn't mean that it can count from 0000 up to 1111. No, it cannot do. It is only a decade counter. That means it can count only from 0000 to 1001. So that means it's a decade counter or a BCD counter. That is from 0 to 9, it is going to count. It can perform both up counting operation as well as down counting operations. So in order to perform up counting operation, we are going to have a separate clock. And for down counting operation, we are going to have a separate clock. It is programmable. Programmable in a sense, so we can set from where the counting operation has to start. For, uh, the next step to that one is a sequential count. For example, by default, everything starts from zero. If you want to start from three, then we can make use of this preset input that is D0 to D3, and we can set that value to three, and then we can make the count to continue from three and onwards and we can keep them in a looping operation. So this can be done both for up counting operation as well as for down counting operation. Right? Then there are two asynchronous inputs that is clear as well as the load operation. So by making use of the load signal itself, we are going to operate this preset signal. So clear stands with the output will be set equal to zero. The simplified realization of 74192 is being presented over here. The details of the pins being used, which are all the inputs, which are all the outputs being presented over here. And this is the more table which we need to understand in order to work with this 74192. So let us go through this more table. So this is master reset, parallel load, uh, up count operation clock, down count clock, and then this is the mode. So going with the first one, if master reset is equal to one, all others will be don't care. Output will be set equal to zero. Then master reset is zero. Parallel load is equal to one. Then up count operation or up count CPU is connected to the clock input and down count clock is connected to the VCC. Then normal sequential up count operation will be done. Then Master reset is 0, parallel load is 1, this up count clock is connected to VCC, this down count clock is connected to the clock input, then regular down count, that is sequential down count is going to happen, then master reset is equal to 0, parallel load is equal to 0, then both of these two will become don't care, then preset is going to happen. Preset in the sense, whatever the data present on D0 to D3, the same data will travel to the output in asynchronous mode. That is what we call it as the preset mode. Then master reset is equal to zero, parallel load is equal to one, 
both the clocks are connected to the VCC, then no counting operation is being done. Now let us go through the detailed uh, functional table. <clears throat> so this is the detailed functional table. What are the mode table I just explained that is being given in a very elaborative manner. So you can just go through that. A detailed video has been done as I told you before. There it is being clearly explained. Let us get into the realization of 74192 up counting operation as well as the down counting operation using multisim. Now let us get into it. Uh, for the sake of better understanding, I just copied this mode table over here. And that, uh, now let us start uh, rigging up uh, the circuit. So first we have to select uh, the 74192 IC. So I have already typed if you uh, 74192 that is going to select the IC then say OK. So place the IC over here, right? So only one stage we are performing that is four bit operation. So I don't need any more 74092 ICs. Then further what we require, we require output to be viewed. For that purpose, we will be making use of the probe. Then you can select over here, then say probes. So I'll be preferring the red color. So, okay, so how many we want? Total four outputs are there. I need four probes to be placed. So, I'll be placing over here. So, first one and then say okay. I'll be placing the second one and say okay. The third one and say okay. I'll be placing the fourth one. So, total four output signal we are going to take. Right. Then what else? Uh, we require to have one VCC as well as the ground. Let us go through that. So for that we need to have sources within that. So select VCC and say OK for that. So I'll be placing the VCC over here. Uh, wherever we require we can just make a replacement of that. And then we need to have ground. So ground selected. So I'll be just keeping the ground over here. We can just place it later. And then I need to have a voltage source which can provide us a clock. So I'll be saying clock, clock with voltage. Say OK. So place it over here. And then anything else we require, we can just take it later, right? OK, close it. Okay, so let us uh, start with uh, uh, the process. So let us first connect the output. So let us just zoom it for uh, better visibility. Okay, so let us connect this one to the first one and then this one to the second. Then to the third and this is the last one. Right, and then so first we must understand which are the inputs and outputs. I just forgot to say that. So in the 74192, uh, these are the inputs A, B, C, D data input. What we taken as a D0, D1, D2, D3, that is what is being recognized here as A, B, C, D. And then here is the load, what I said as parallel load over there, uh, that is the load over here, and clear what I said the reset over there, that's what the master reset that's what the clear signal over here up and down represents the up count clock and this is the down count clock right qa to qd are the output signals where qa stands with the lsp bit and qd stands with the msp bit and then b naught and c naught are the terminal counts which will be used for further cascading operation so we are not making use of these two signals over here in order to observe the output that will be making use of all other except these two in order to have up count as well as the down count operation so let us first consider the up count operation so i have connected all these output signals uh, so to the probe so that i can observe the output values over there so better uh, if we designate here this is the lsp and then over here this is as the msp 
so this will give us a better understanding right now let us make a connection with respect to the vcc which has to be connected to the vcc and which is not to be connected to the vcc now that will come to picture over here right so with respect to mode table let us zoom out okay now mode table is what is required for us we are performing the up count operation for up count operation mode uh, the master reset must be connected to the zero and parallel load must be connected to the one one in the sense this load signal i must connect it to the vcc right and uh, the ground signal the clear must be connected to the ground so i'll just take it over here right and then the cpu clock up must be connected to the clock pulse so this is where the clock pulse so we'll be connecting to the clock pulse then cpd must be connected to the value 1 1 in the sense this vcc so i'll just connect this to the vcc right so i need one more ground so i just copy over here copy then paste and that will be connected to the voltage source right so what all required that has been done you can just go through it once again master reset must be equal to zero master reset in the sense that is a clear signal that is connected to the ground parallel load must be equal to one so that is load signal is connected to the vcc that is equal to one then cpu that's the count clock is connected to the clock signal so up is connected to this clock signal then cpd down count must be connected to one that is to the vcc that has been connected all job is done now let us make a little change over here it is connected with the one hertz uh one kilohertz clock let us make it as one hertz if one kilohertz we cannot observe the output uh, in a in a so in such a faster manner one hertz is always good for us right all done so let us zoom in for better visibility right now a default count value is there now let me run this value so i'll be running this 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 9 right so after that it's going to zero so it's a decade counter operation so it is not going to count beyond 1 0 0 1 that's what we have to observe after that it will come back to zero right so this is for the up counting operation that we had done now the same we can also perform with respect to the down counting operation so let us make a down counting operation so what is required for down counting just go through the mode table so master reset as well as the parallel load remains the same no change with respect to that the clock we have to make a change over here let us make a change with respect to the clock so for that uh, i'll just delete this one i just delete this one make a reverse of it up count clock must be connected to the vcc and this one must go to the down count operation so job done that's all we needed to do right now make a verification so master reset is equal to uh, zero then parallel load is equal to one now cpu is connected to the vcc now cpd is connected to the clock now it has to perform the down count operation down count operation in the sense it has to start from the maximum value and it will count towards the minimum value in a sequential manner then let us zoom in right make a observation with respect to the output so highest value now it is moving towards the lowest value as an as and when it becomes zero it will again go back to the highest value right so this is what the down count operation 
so this is the, this is a simple sequential up count as well as the down count operation where we are not going to consider this preset signals right a to d what is represented there they are all the preset values so these preset values are not being considered over here in the next video let us consider this preset and let us uh, uh, take the count value from and to range and let us make a design of this up counter as well as down counter right okay so let me stop this okay thanks for joining